Welcome back beer tubers. Today we're taking a look at a beer, a newer beer from Belching Beaver, and this is Great Lay. They're calling it a uh, Pineapple Colada India Pale Ale. It's 6.6 percent ale with natural flavors added. So uh, kind of along the lines of coconut IPA, right? So I wanted to check it out. Uh, I've heard the initial batches weren't that great, but they recently retooled the recipe and that it was tasting a lot better. So hopefully I have a bottle from the, uh, the latest uh, bottling of this beer. But uh, obviously I love the concept of a pina colada type IPA. It's what Robert and I were going for with our R&R coconut IPA. So I uh, got it poured out. Uh, definitely some haze to the beer. It's uh, dark gold uh, with some light orange notes, bright white head. Let's get the aroma on it. Definitely get some pineapple, coconut, sweeter citrus notes like sweeter orange, borderline mandarin orange. Yeah, a lot, a lot of pineapple though. I'd say the pineapple dominates a bit more than the coconut. Definitely has a tropical vibe to the aroma along with like the like a citra hop note, that sweeter note, maybe something New Zealandy uh, in there. But um, yeah, it's kind of dominating the nose with a little bit of a, a bready malt character. So let's give it a try. Cheers. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, a lot more um, coconut on the flavor than the aroma. Uh, I do have this rather cool. It's a warm day. Just wanted to uh, get it pretty fresh out of the uh, fridge and drink it on the cooler end. So the, I'm sure the coconuts can really will pop more in the aroma as it warms, but a uh, good amount of the flavor. Yeah, definitely um, sweetness up front. Sweet coconut, the pineapple note, the sweeter orange. The finish has uh, a bitterness to it, a good amount of like IPA like bitterness that tends to be more bitter grapefruit. Uh, borderline pininess that kind of lingers on the finish. It dries out. 6.6%, uh, you know, a low scale for an IPA, which is nice, makes it a little more refreshing. Um, also getting a bready malt character, kind of toasty malt finish. So I had a sample up of Blues Blues and I was told this was the new batch and they've been actually using real coconut in the beer. I guess they're using some kind of extract before, but I assume the natural flavor is kind of where the the pineapple character comes from, but I'm not 100% sure on this. But uh, yeah, uh, from what I've heard, this is much improved uh, recipe, more tropical vibe, pineapple, uh, coconut definitely present in the beer, uh, breadiness. It, it's got a, a little bit of malt balance to it, but uh, the hops do linger. There's a lingering bitterness. I wish it was toned down a little bit. I wish it was a little little lower IBUs, uh, a little less bittering hops to it to kind of mellow it out and kind of up some of the flavor hops a bit more. But uh, yeah, well done version of, uh, if you're kind of looking for that pina colada IPA thing, this is, uh, this will, this is a good example of it. And actually something that's getting bottled uh, as well. You don't see a whole lot of those cropping up uh, since Robert and I did our version of it through Stone. but. Uh, yeah, I, I hope they keep tweaking this recipe, improving it, but right now it's, yeah, it's, it's a nice beer. We're giving it a try. Uh, I guess my approval, and uh, this is kind of a type of beer I like to brew on occasion. So it's going to wrap it up for Great Lay from Belching Beaver. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.